This furnace just plugs into the wall, has four heat settings. You can hook this up to a thermostat. I don't have it hooked up to a thermostat, but you can. It's quite heavy on pellets. This will burn a, a bag in the high setting probably in about 12 hours. But as far as heating your shop for six or seven dollars a day, you can't really beat it, especially for the amount of heat it delivers. This furnace will nearly take two bags. This is one bag. It uh, it uses a lot of pellets, but uh, for a shop, you know, six bucks a day. That's pretty cheap heat for the amount of heat that this thing will. This thing will blow you at the shop. So. What I do, I take a coffee cup, poke up holes in it so the the cup will breathe and actually allow it to catch on fire. A little twist in it. And fill that cup up with pellets. Uh, use a lighting fluid. I'll show you. It's just the gel lighting fluid. You pour it on top, light it with your lighter, put it in the burner hole. And uh, this stove generally takes two cups of. Uh, pellets to get lit, but it's, uh, that's the easiest method to This won't start until there's enough heat in the box. This thing should start up any minute now. So these motors won't turn, just, just turned on right now. So there's enough heat in the box, we'll put more pellets in the furnace. Heat's coming. The biggest difference you see between this and a regular pellet stove is it has two uh, motors. There's a cup in the bottom, so it'll drop down, it'll turn a cup and fill up and it'll drop it. And then it has another auger motor to push pellets forward. And uh, it's a great design. Um, never allows the auger to get jammed up with too much pellets. Uh, really ingenious design. Mm -hmm. 